Hello, hello, this is Arcades, and welcome to another build episode here on Stormworks Build and Rescue. And, uh, we're back here with the Knuckle Dragger. And, uh, yeah, I think it's time we actually get some real work done on this cargo door. So, yeah, uh, I want to get something in that recognizes three states for this, uh, door. And probably reshape it so that it actually... Uh, batches up with the doors better because right now it just kind of leaves a gap and it's not very flush. Oh, this is going to take some uh, settings adjustment after uh, we do the builds. Um, the doors, the side doors, I think I'm going to leave them alone for the most part. They're just going to be open or closed. Right now, it's the ramp that's the big thing. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. So, the goal is to get this to touch the floor, be out straight and closed, and those can be open and closed on their own, and that is probably going to open along with those, or it'll just stay closed. So, yeah. Mm. Okay, so that sounds like about the gist of what we're aiming for today, and uh, yeah, so, hope you like what you see, hope you enjoy what you watch. If you do, to remember to like, subscribe. Leave a comment, tell me what you think, and, uh, yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so, before we get into too much more, I did stream, uh, Stormworks, uh, recently before this, and I did a little work on the screens. Is this the version with the... And I made a few changes. <laughs> Uh, only on the screens. Uh, everything else is mainly just the Lua work, and so the screen that I added here with the three buttons, you have an engine button there, you got a gyro, and then we got our screens. And the info screen I selected for down here, I went and uh, made it spiffy. I updated how it looked so it looks a lot nicer. Added the gray background, I added the drop shadow to each of the letters. And, uh, yeah, so, so for the most part, yeah, it looks a lot nicer, and I enjoy how it is. This way, now, this screen is on a player sensor, so the moment somebody comes in here, this will pop on. Now, the reason why I'm using the Lewis screen to control that, so if something happens and basically fall off the thing, when a Lewis when the loot when the vehicle unloads like say it gets 2,000 meters out generally unless something has like keep active lock which this thing does not it unloads basically it's it's noted that it's in a place but it unloads to save you know save on the uh, performance for the game and what it does is it shuts down the Lua so when you come back within range of it and it respawns back in, the Lua is shut off, it resets, and at that point, with the default on this, everything is off. So the engines will shut off, and in the case of this thing, it'll just fall down to the ground. So it's kind of like a... kind of a dead man switch in that case. So if something happens to me and I fall off, that's the dead man switch for the thing. All I gotta do is go out of range, let it despawn, go back into range, and then it will just fall out of the air and such so there's my dead man and yeah so now like i said for the door because i also want to have multiple controls for these actions and these states so because i want controls up in the cockpit but i want controls back here and possibly controls back here i'm not sure about the ones here but that can be added later, and it'll work. Uh, yeah. And thankfully, I kind of already have a mic controller that does all that work. So, uh, it can take input from multiple places and translate it out. So, the main work is just getting the door shapes and, uh, figuring out, uh, the different positions. So, yeah. Alright, let's get this thing back to the workshop. 
Okay, so a little while back when I went to install the landing gear, I deleted a lever that I've been leaving on the side. Well, we got to reinstall that lever. <laughs> to be honest, we got to reinstall it. So, let's get that throttle lever. We're going to put this over to to the door control. Oh, we're going to need an instrument panel set up as well for this. So uh, let me go ahead and get that set up real quick. Okay. Um. Okay, so here's the control panel I've got slotted up right now for the door. And this is going to handle the states of the ramp. Now, I went ahead, like I said, we got this connected in. And we're going to give this a test. So we know zero is our level. Okay, this will probably be like the in-flight drop, and this is probably how this door will look, except for when we need to open up that section up there. Alright, so now we need to go down to the ground. Oh, hold on. Okay, after reducing the sensitivity of the throttle. <laughs> now I want to go down just enough to where it looks like it picks it up off the ground. Point one six eight. All right, let's grab a note of that. Okay, so now we need to find a proper closed area too. Now we have it currently set to negative to point five. And personally, I actually do like that because at least it comes up with the seam up there. Uh. So the hard part is getting it to flush up with that. So, all right, let's see what we can do about that door. All right, so we're going to actually take this and we're going to flip this over. And see how that affects the... Uh, Okay, it's looking at like 0.201 might be the value I want. Uh, I might not have to reshape that door very much. And it doesn't look like it's actually messing with the body, so I might not actually have to reshape. Alright, so that's even. And that's down. Alrighty, I think we found our levels. Alright, now comes the fun part. We've got to somehow put this into a functioning microcontroller that can switch between uh, three states of close, ground level, and across and I mean there's probably two ways to do this we can use an up down counter which should be simple enough
Uh, which I think is probably what I'll end up doing. Um, Alright, let me set up this microcontroller real quick. Okay, so here's the microcontroller I made for the back doors. Uh, <laughs> so what it is, is I'm going to have the multiple inputs. They're going to translate into this. I'm going to have a pulse. Uh, we're going to have a pulse here so that it controls how long. So you can press it once, but it's only register once. And it will hit this up-down counter. Uh... Is a reset, yes. Okay, so reset value goes back down to zero. Uh, the max will be two. And what it does is... Actually, no, the max is three. So what happens is you click the button, you make the, the counter go up. And once it hits three... Right here, it will reset it back down to zero. So it's going to cycle through the three states of closed, level, and ground in the order. Then we'll come over here. I have I ha I've decided against giving the upper door its own control. And what it's going to do is if the ramp is ever open, it's going to open. So that's how I'm playing it out. So if the ramp ever opens that upper area will open otherwise if it's if it's at that state it's going to say i'm closed if it's at a certain value it's just going to say oh no i'm done we're closed and i kind of actually hang on 0. 0.5 0. 0.5 uh we'll actually say 0.4 or yeah, 0.45 and 0.55. So that way, whatever position that door is in, or because it's going to look at the value here, in which the case close this 0.5. Yeah, there it is. So when it sees that value, gets in between here, the threshold will then activate this and go. Otherwise, it'll go to zero. So yeah, as long as it hits the close value within that area, 0.5, it will open up the door. It's always trying to open unless it hits this, the close value and then it shuts itself. Okay. That's why I always like uh, when I do these. I give the properties a name and I, then I just copy that. And save that. So that way when you mouse over it, it has that same look. Okay, so, oh, I gotta, let me reorganize this. Oh, hold on. Nope, nope, nope. Now, the, the side doors work the same way. They have three states as well. There's full open, half open, and closed all right I'm gonna put that there and then we're gonna grab okay upper door rotator side door rotators Ramp rotators. And then I'm going to use this as our override button. Now I need to, uh, now that I know what I'm doing, I need to uh, readjust these. Actually, it shouldn't be too bad because I 
Just need to copy that. Actually, what I can do, hold on, we're going to bring this up and over, paste that one there, we're going to get rid of these two, merge that in with there, and then we're going to take this one and I'm going to change instrument two to a button, oh, no, no. Leave that an indicator. Uh, instrument three becomes a button. It will be channel five. And this will be side doors. And instrument two will actually be closed. Because I'm going to have to go back in and see what I have where and redo this. But And then we're going to come over here. Instrument one is going to become a indicator. And that's going to become level. And instrument two is going to become. No, it's going to stay ground. <laughs> so that's closed, level, ground. And then instrument three will become half open, side half. Actually, just. half open and this will be full open we come back to here number four will also be closed so see both of those are in the closed state three is the button for the side doors so that's five this will be six. This will be seven. And this will be eight. Whoops. This will be three. And this will be four. Come back over here. That's two. And that's six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's how I'm playing that out. So we got to go back up the microcontroller here real quick. That's on four. Actually, okay. So I had a, that. They're they're all good. Hmm. You know what? No, no. I, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, let me get a light. I'm gonna put that one there. This will go to here. Okay, let's hook up the stuff. Okay, so we have... So this is going to go into this one. That's going to go up to... there and then this is going to come back down to here now data wise okay we already have those hooked up spawn it okay the override button works and Door open.
half, full, close. Full open. And then there's just the plain old override, which Hee ha ha! Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to have four, <laughs> four of these controls because, uh, yeah, I don't. I I need a way in. Uh. <laughs> I mean, the override works, but I didn't want that to be a necessarily a way in, but. So I'm going to put that there, and then we're going to grab We're going to put that there. Merge that in. Okay. So now the door control. All right, so we got that one there. I said I wanted another set of controls back here. That should be just a wall at the moment, yes. So we'll put this right here. And then we're gonna put one more set up in the cockpit. And we're gonna put this up in the ceiling. Uh, we'll paste that there for now. there and I want to move it more to there all right last bit now we hook up the uh, hit up our a Our, our, uh, uh, that's the cockpit. That goes to there. And then this will go to there and to there. That's merged in, that's merged in, and that's merged in. Okay, I gotta fix that hole, but we got that button there. That turns off. 
open. Close. See it registers there. Registers there. Registers there and there. That spot there and okay. We're all closed up. We got our override button as well, which I need to hook that up and let me fill in this hole as well. Now how these override buttons are going to work uh, all right, hold on. Let me first. Cut. Clear the external logic. And. I'm going to paste this back in. All right, so this is going to go to there. Then we're going to hook that back up to there. Then we're going to hook this up to the light over here. And the light... up in there. And I'm just having that as like the only like switch. That way the person in the back says, you know what, the door's open. It is what it is. Take it or accept it. <laughs> it's just, uh, but it does let the other stations know that it's full open. So uh, we are also going to now color these things, too. Uh, so I want... So we're going to do red. To be honest, I should have done this before I transplanted them around. Do red for that. Uh, to green for those. So that's full open. And I guess yellow for middles because it's like they're not like full open. They're just like you know. Partially. <laughs> and then red. Red. And red. I just wish there was a way to. I can't name a light. I can name an indicator, but the indicators. Uh, let me. I guess what I could do. Uh, maybe if I color all their backgrounds the same, they'll realize that they're associated with each other. Ah, shit, now. I want to use that light, but I need an indicator. Because this way I can say Now the other thing is, well Lighting will be a different issue. That'll be a different episode. All right, so now we don't need this anymore. We also don't need that, that, or that anymore. So 
Don't need that. Uh, that should be it for the time being. And now I need a place to put it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess for now it's just going to go on the stack and I will play Jenga with the microcontrollers later. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it here off with that. We managed to get better door controls in. We got multiple states for the doors. Or for the four separate door pieces. So this edge right here I found actually does slightly go inside the edge of this. But it looks like it's not causing an issue with physics. So I'm just going to leave it be. And yeah, so we got this control panel installed here. Something that can be controlled from the three different main areas cockpit, the front handling station, and also right here at the back. So, uh, yeah, not a lot to go on here, but you know what? Important step that need to be taken, and uh, yeah, I think uh, <laughs> we got two more, we got a few more main things we could do. I know I at least need to do some lights. We need to get the light power in. And I have one other small project feature I want to add up at the front because you notice that front's a little so. Uh, yeah, we still got a little bit to go before I think it's ready for regular use. So, yeah. Uh, Alright, so. Hope you enjoyed what you watch. Hope you like what you saw. You know the deal. You know the spiel. This is Arcades, signing out. Have yourself a good day.